distant village. A new area. And there's a stag station up there. I'm gonna want to see if I can unlock that post haste. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna enter the giant cocoon egg just yet. If there's a place where a dreamer is going to be, it's probably going to be that. Well, maybe not since there's multiple of them. This is technically a village after all. Hopefully the residents are a little bit more peaceful than uh, the things I've been coming across so far. Well, the bench is busted, but thankfully I can activate the stag station. You have uh, anything to say about this area, buddy? Oh, right, I have to ring him. Ah, little one. Where are we? I have never been to this station. It has a strange air of danger to it. Let me take you somewhere safer, quickly. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll partake on that offer. So turn back to Dirtmouth. Mainly because if I do end up dying to something, I'll be returned all the way back to that previous bench. So I'd prefer to rest at one that's near a stag station. That way I have a quicker boss run. It might also be worth stopping back in with Sly to pick up that one charm. And who knows, maybe he's found new stuff in his storeroom. Ooh, another mask shard. Yeah, why not? That will give me just enough for another health pip, and that may just save my bacon in the upcoming boss. Which I really hope is a thing. It would suck if it turns out I can't actually access it yet because I don't have enough essence. Actually, you know what I should do? Regardless of whether or not I can actually access it, I should check to see what a uh, upgrade I can get from bringing back a hundred of the stuff. And he still has nothing new to say. I believe the NPC responsible for that was near a stag station. That was in the resting grounds, wasn't it? I think so. And there was a stag station nearby, so let's check that out. Oh wait, I just realized, is uh, the girl no longer sitting at the bench? She isn't. Is she in a abode? Abode? Oh no, she's not here either. She hasn't gone wandering- oh wait, no, yeah, there she is. I couldn't actually make out her form on the bed. Wait, did I read this one before? Yeah, I've read this one already. Well, okay then. So yeah, if I'm reading the map right and I remember right, the NPC should but sh should just be up over here. Yep. Ah, Wielder, you've returned. Let me have a look at the dream nail. Hmm, already you've collected a hundred essence. Quick look. Things come naturally to you, don't they? No wonder the dreamers tried to bury you in that old dream. Perhaps you frightened them. Or perhaps, being prisoners themselves, they desired your company? In any case, you still have a long way to go. Take this old trinket as encouragement for me, and return when you have collected 200 essence. Ah, oh, damn it! I was hoping to get some sort of big upgrade or, you know, something useful. But, nope. It was just a hollowness seal. Wait a minute. Oh, she was actually telling me something important there. Sometimes dreams take the shape of those who have passed away. You should search K 
carefully near graves and other monuments. Oh, I think she's just referring to the grave that I broke through earlier, which led to... Uh, somewhere else. I forget exactly where. Or she's referring to something else entirely and I'm just not realizing it. So yeah, let's get back to that village though. See what that place is about. Alright, let's check out this house. Oh dear, long loading screen, that's always a worrisome sign. Uh, hello there. I come in peace. Oh, and apparently they're willing to listen, and there's even a bench here. Oh. Oh dear. I'm actually mainly upset because, uh... I have no idea what they were going to say. Probably some encouragement to sit at the bench. Good thing I unlocked that stag station. Oh dear. It seems I'm to be some sort of sacrifice. Um. Oh, it was actually easy enough to break out. I wonder if I could have broken out from the bench or not. I mean, it's probably a good thing that I didn't because it took me to the beast's den. Yeah, as I mentioned before, this game would not take kindly to any arachnophobe. Oh boy, especially since I'm sure this area is required since there's a dreamer here. So it's not just a place you could ignore. Oh boy, one of you. I really have no way of dealing with you, do I? Are you hiding anything? You might be hiding a passageway, hmm. Do I try and brute force things? Because if I do this just right, I might be able to deal with you. Yeah, you know what? That's not such a good idea. I'm just gonna uh, leave you alone for now. Try some other pathways first. Oh, it uh it seems I don't have much of a choice. Unless I'm missing something that is the only path beholden to me. Let me just head back here first, double check. Yeah, no, that's the only place I can go. I'm not missing something, some easy way to deal with this enemy when you don't have room above you to jump. I mean, I can just hurt them with the soul blast easily enough, but I don't have enough to really kill it. And I don't attack quickly enough that I can actually get behind it either. I mean, I have done a little bit of damage to it so far. Ah, there we go. If I can get it to stay there, which is tricky since it likes to retreat, I might be able to get off enough hits to kill it. Oh dear. Nope, stop retreating, you jerk. Yeah, see, I can get off a single hit. Okay, just in the nick of time, seriously. I hope I don't encounter any more of those. Or at least not in such tight confines.
That one looks somewhat important. Let me head back a bit. Oh, I thought this was a path upwards. Ah, and this ends up taking me back here. Oh, that's probably where I was supposed to go. Whoops. And yeah, these are definitely spiders taking over the corpses or perhaps still living bodies if you want to get really uh, eerie with it of uh, other bugs. Oh wait, no, this is a dead end as well it seems. So I did have to go up that way. there's another one of you. I'm not doing such a good job of avoiding taking damage, am I? Uh. Well, this unlocked a few new paths for me. Oh, did I actually get a bestiary entry for that egg pod? That would be an interesting one to read. There's a grub trap here as well. Well, you know what I have to do then? Ooh, they're right on the other side of this wall. How do I get to them? Probably need to proceed further. Oh, there you are, friend. Hey, and I got the grub friend achievement. Let me just uh, bring up the steam overlay. Yep, that's for getting half of them. So uh, if they're evenly spaced throughout the game, that means I've gone through half of the game so far. I still have at least half of the game left. Holy shit. Oh, another one of you. But you should be easy to deal with. I can actually hop up above you. See what I mean? If you have just a little bit of room above him, it's so much easy to deal with. If you don't screw up the timing, that is. Okay, wait a second. This is going further than I thought it would. And I don't have my map to currently rely on. Not until I find a bench. So let me just check what's up this way first. Okay, it is indeed a dead end. That's good to know. Although there clearly was stuff up above. Unless I just have to go around and get up there eventually. Ah, here. Oh, now this one's not going to be fun to deal with. I guess if I get them to come out of their shells and then immediately strike, I have enough time to hit them and then get away. But that is really precise timing. I've only managed to do it like two or three times so far, and all the times I've fought them. Okay, got this one with a little bit less trouble. Oh. Now this is an important location. Let's uh, inspect you, I guess. A sleeping figure lays atop the stone plinth. Yep, this is one of the dreamers. Time to use the dream nail. Yep. Maybe I should have explored elsewhere first. Ah, and I'm inside of her dream.
bound for blood for child. Fair bargain made. Give all. For her. For her. Oh, whoops, hold on a sec. Okay, things are fine. <laughs> um. Well, she seems to be repeating her dreaming dialogue now, yeah, so I guess I have no choice but to attack her. Oh, is she not gonna fight back? Well, now I just feel awful. Beast achievement. Ah, and that's one mask on from the Temple of the Black Egg. So, no boss fight then? Because that's surprising. I was totally expecting to have to do one. I guess not, huh? What do you know? Ah, of course the enemies have respawned, including you. Uh, well you're one of the less annoying ones to deal with, so it's not such a big deal. I say as I get completely wrecked. So yeah, at least for her, no epic boss fight to wake her. I wonder if that'll be the case for all of the dreamers that I come across. I'm sure at least one of them will have to have a guardian of some sort if that is the case. But yeah, that's certainly not what I was expecting. Come on. You know that I have to kill you to see what's behind you, but you're placed in such an area as to be really annoying to do so. Actually, I don't think you can reach me if I stand at the edge here, can you? Uh, with the second hit, not the first though. You know, if I had the Mark of Pride here, this would be a lot easier. I'd be able to hit it from outside of its attack range. As it is, I just kinda gotta do this. Oh wait, I can hit it if I do an aerial attack at all. I thought I had to be like in the middle of or behind it, but no. Okay, so that's the trick I was missing. Downwards attacks from the air always work, even if you're more in front of it. And then as long as I don't get caught between a wall and its hard place, I'm fine. Now this looks important. Can I add... do anything with it though? I'm just hitting it a bunch, but what about the dream nail? No, I can't hit it. Well, this is odd. Maybe this would have looked different if I had come here before waking her? Hmm. Odd. Ah, and here's the bench I've been looking so long for. Although this is an inner area, so uh, updating the map doesn't exactly help much. Oh, and I'm back here. Yeah, seriously, what was that thing that I couldn't really interact with but was clearly important? It could just be a random environmental detail. 
but I will try to keep that in mind in case I do figure out some way to interact with it. So, you know, waking the dreamer, that's all well and good. That's one of my major story goals is to wake all of them. But I was really hoping, you know, A for a boss fight and B to pick up some sort of movement upgrade, given how far I've trekked. So before I end things off, I definitely do want to explore the rest of this village. Maybe there's something here I can pick up. Oh wow, a lot of uh, cocoon friends here. Nothing I can do with them though. So yeah, you know, despite accomplishing one of my major story goals, I might actually consider this area to be something of a bust. Just because I didn't really get any upgrades or anything. But what happens if I drop down here? That's the real question. The answer is that I drop down to the bottom. <laughs> Uh, what the hell was that? Uh... Did you just see what I just did? I like kind of rocketed forward. If anything, it kind of reminded me of the jump glitch that you can do in Salt and Sanctuary. Another Metroidvania game. How did I do that? I did some sort of input. I managed to do it twice somehow. Is that like an actual movement glitch? I know this game has a fairly robust speedrunning scene already, so I could probably just look one of those up and they'll probably use that if it is a glitch. Weird. For now though, I have other matters on my mind, such as hopefully making some progress here. I need to at least continue on this way and see if it leads back to the village. Oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you retreat all the way. <laughs> oh, I love that. Whenever in a game a thing will hover around you and you can get it to orbit just right that it continually orbits around you. It's always great. I haven't been here before, have I? I don't think so. No, it's not marked on my map, so I couldn't have been. It just looks similar. Oh no, don't just die, just die, just die. Ah, here we go. Shortcut, probably. Yep, this is a place I've been before. I know that because it's marked on my map. A little bit before the village it looks like, so there was some more stuff I could explore down here, so I definitely want to do that before retreating for good. But yeah, if I really don't end up picking up any movement upgrade here, I am going to be incredibly disappointed. Story progress doesn't really mean much in a game like this unless it's also marked with gameplay progress. Oh. Hello there, no face. Oh, please, please, don't be shy. There are some nasties about here, alright. Not me. I'm a friend to all and happy to serve a traveler so bold as you. Is it information you seek? That I can provide. Yes, so oh yes. <laughs> that village above here, home to a sad creature. Hers is a tale of tragic exchange. Cost her and her people greatly, though I suspect she bore no regret in making it. <laughs> yes. I know, I know, you're intrigued. You want to know the tale. Well, I'm sorry. 
I'd love to tell it, but I'm just, I'm very, very sorry, and I haven't eaten in some time. And oh, I'm starving. Oh dear. Oh, is she gone? I guess she's gone. I didn't expect her to go away so quickly. Will she respawn if I leave and come back? Maybe if I leave the room? Because clearly, uh, there's probably more I can do with her. I wonder if I could have attacked her. Well, since I seem to have explored this area to its fullest, at least for now, I, I guess I'm done. So yeah, that was honestly kind of a little bit of a disappointment. Like, overall, I like the ambiance of the area, and it was nice to make some story progression, get a little bit closer to actually beating the game, but not actually getting any movement upgrades when I so expected to was really disappointing. Uh, I'm going to see if I can make that night, uh, the midwife lady respawn. If not, I'll just be ending things here. If so, I'll show that off before I end things. Hey, she is. Ah, it returns. I do apologize about before. <laughs> no matter, no matter. My appetite off gets the better of me. For now, at least, I'm content. Would you hear about myself? There's not so much to say. I'm a servant to the nest, though few in recent times would seek my service. Our brood is lost to that pestilence of the mind. A sad fall for the most intelligent species. Ah, but hmm, I've eaten yes in full. Then again, another little morsel would make me oh so happy. The perfect end to a meal. No, bad. Bad girl. So it looks like I do have to leave the area and come back to make her respawn. Uh, it's probably quicker if I just go over to the left here. Yeah, much quicker. So uh, let's see just how much information I can wrangle out of her. Even if I didn't end up getting a movement upgrade, I do like the fact that I encountered her. I'll consider that uh, a worthy conciliatory reward. My dear, aren't you so kind, checking again on my well-being? I'm ever the caring host. I can't understand why more don't visit in your manner. Now you won't mind while I just take a little bite, just a lick perhaps? A full belly is the best path to happiness. No. We've been over this. It's bad. It's rude. It's not how you treat your guests. I do love, though, that I can just attack her once to get her to back off. And I realize that, um, design-wise, she's kind of like a slimmer, small versions of those enemies that I've had so much trouble with. The ones that inhabit the tunnels. Okay, I guess she's done offering things, so... Let me see what happens if I don't fend her off. I'm curious. Oh, she just hits you once. That's a little bit disappointing. And she continues to try to attack you. Uh... Jesus, control your belly, lady. 